Hi guys, first of all, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded for several days. I've been sick the past few days as you can hear from my voice, but I have a makeup tutorial for you. So this is kind of a Valentine's Day look if you want it to be. Well, of course, it can also be an everyday kind of look or a special occasion kind of look, whatever you want. So I'm starting with the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream just to prep my skin for foundation. And then I applied the Becca First Light Priming Filter on top of it. I also mixed the primer in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation in shade 128. I mixed them all in together in a palette using this 2-in-1 um, silicone and ruby cell sponge from Belitza Aperta. It's really nice guys, you should check it out on Amazon. I basically use one side to mix and apply instead of my fingers and then use the other side to tap it in. So as usual, I start from my cheeks and the center of my face and blend it outwards just to sheer it out. And then add several layers more onto the areas where I need it, especially where I have more redness. Then I use the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector on my under eyes. I just tap it in with my fingers. And kind of bounce it in around the under eye area to blend it. I just discovered how great this is in neutralizing my dark circles. It's really great. And then on top of that, I use the NYX HD Concealer. Now this one is almost completely out, but I can't find the same shade anywhere. And this one is almost dry and on its last leg, so I was just making do because this is my favorite and I didn't want to use any other concealer. To highlight, I use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. And then as usual, I just tap it in with my fingers to blend. I like to apply it on my cheekbones, the corner of my eye, and the high points of my forehead. Now onto the eyes, I use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer, making sure to only apply a small amount, but I still end up over applying and the primer actually ends up filling, but you don't see that. Next, I also apply concealer to cancel out any darkness on my eyelids. You don't really have to do this. You can just use your foundation or just powder. But I don't know why. I should have just used powder actually. Then I set the entire face and my eyes with the W7 Banana Dreams powder. I kind of use a bit more powder than I usually do. I was just feeling adventurous today. But yeah, um, just apply as much powder as you want. To start with the eyes, I'm using ColourPop's Pressed Powder in Paper Tiger. This is a yellow like a kind of muted yellow eyeshadow and i apply it from my orbital bone down to my crease my mobile lid and also blending it upwards more towards the eyebrows and then i actually cut the crease using concealer but i'm going for a half cut crease not a full cut crease because i have a hooded eye so I don't actually have to do this because the crease is always cut when you have a hooded eye actually, but I don't know. Um, feel free to skip this step. Then I take this duo chrome shade here. It's more of like a pink, lilac, and champagne kind of color. And pack it on from the inner corner up to the center of my eyelid using a flat synthetic brush. To amp up the finish, I take my MAC Fix Plus and then spray my brush before packing on the shadow.
Then I take this taupey brown shade here and pack it on the outer third of my eyelid. Then using a pencil brush, I blend the brown shade inwards towards the inner half of the eye, making sure to maintain the cut on that cut crease. Then I just blend out the edges with a clean, precise blending brush, blending it upwards and also blending the outer corner inwards towards the inner corner. Then I take a fluffy crease brush and just blend out the edges near the brow bone, making sure not to blend down so that I don't ruin the cut of the cut crease. Using the same taupey brown shade, I apply it on my lower lash line with a pencil brush just to complete the eye look. Then, after cleaning up the pencil brush, I apply the same metallic shade, the rosy champagne one, on the inner corner as a inner corner highlight. Moving on to the brows, I use a brow powder. I use the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit and apply it using an angled brush, just on the sparse areas of my brows to fill them in. I'm going for really soft brows without much structure just to complement the rest of the face. To set my unruly brow hairs, I'm using the Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. It's a clear brow gel, and I'm just running it through my entire brow. And because this is a date night look, I want a luminous effect over the rest of the entire face. So I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette to finish off the skin. So first, I use Dim Light. This is the shade Dim Light, and I'm using it all over my face. Literally all over. From the center of my face, down the bridge of my nose, under my eyes, on my cheeks. This is a finishing powder, so this will give your face a soft, airbrushed look. And then for blush, I'm using the Sleek Blush by 3 palette in Pink Lemonade. I'm using the Cool Pink shade on the leftmost with a fluffy powder brush. And because I'm going for a soft look, I'm sweeping it just across the apple of my cheek. And then blending it outwards towards my cheekbones. But really focusing it on just the center of the cheek. I really should have applied this before the Hourglass palette, but, you know. Then I switch over to the bronzing shade on the Hourglass Ambient Lighting palette. This is the shade Radiant Light, and apply it as a bronzer on the high points of my face. So, on my forehead, the sides of my cheekbones, and I also blend it slightly downwards on the sides of my jawline, just to give some warmth to the rest of the skin. And as a final touch to the skin, I'm just going to spritz it with some MAC Fix Plus generously. And then apply some mascara. I'm using Maybelline, the Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara. Making sure to really get it on the roots. So wiggling it on the roots and then combing it upwards to give that fluffy lash effect. Lastly, lipstick. I'm using the Pink Sugar HD Lipstick in the shade Wicked. And this is the final look. So it's a very soft, glam, and pretty look for Valentine's Day. It's perfect for any date night, really. It's very easy to recreate. You don't have to recreate the cut crease. You can just apply the shimmer shade with your fingers and it will get the same effect. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye!